Rogue waves are giant waves that suddenly appear in the ocean and fuck shit up. More scientifically, they're waves that are twice the significant wave height. That means they're twice as tall as the tallest third of waves in a wave record. Historically, people didn't think that they existed or that they were even possible. Mariners throughout history reported surviving huge waves that came out of nowhere that were so big they looked like vertical mountains of water. But they're so rare, and the people who encountered them probably rarely lived to talk about them that they weren't believed when they did. So they were put in the same vein as mythological creatures like the Kraken, Sirens, or Mermaids. But that all changed with the Dropner wave. The Dropner platform is a structure in a gas pipeline support complex about 100 miles off the southern tip of Norway. It was the first structure of its kind and it was installed in 1994. In order to ensure the safety of the people on board, it was equipped with an extensive array of sensors that track a bunch of shit, including frequency and height of the waves where it is. And on January 1st, 1995, the sensors recorded a wave that was almost 85 feet from trough to crest. It was more than twice the height of any wave in the hour before or after. Since then, quite a few rogue waves have been documented. Also in 1995, a 95-foot wave crashed into the Queen Elizabeth II. The captain said it came out of the darkness and looked like the white cliffs of Dover. Typically, waves rise and fall relatively gently, which allows ships to pretty easily climb them. But rogue waves are super steep and have a super short wavelength for their height, so they look like huge walls of water that smash everything in their way with buttloads of force. What causes rogue waves is still a matter of active research, and Wikipedia says that stating clearly what the most common causes are or whether they vary from place to place is premature. But the basic idea is different waves can travel at different speeds and they can pile up in certain circumstances, which is known as constructive interference. So although rare, they're definitely real, and if you catch one, they can be extremely dangerous. 